Welcome to clickmyproject.com Yeah, let us discuss about the inherent raindrop modeling, deduction and removal in video. Yeah, let us discuss about the many state of the art computer vision algorithm and designed to work in well posed visibility conditions. Though this assumption may hold of most indoor and simulation scenarios, environmental noise can be badly influenced their performance in outdoor setting. For example, in uh, surveillance applications or in driver assistance, systems where a camera is mounted begin the wind and streets of moving vehicle. However, a proper operation in the presence of rain in the security. So, a relevant P requires to many applications particularly on a broad mobile vehicles. So, for, uh, for example, image registration accuracy declines the presence of raindrops on the vein cell due to the mismatch features. So, in this proposed work, a method that automatically detects and removes inherent raindrops. So, the core idea is to exploit the local spatial and temporal derivatives of raindrops. So, the to encrypt the idea, we first model. So, the inherent raindrops using a law of physics and detect the raindrops based on this model in combination with motion and intensity temporal derivatives of the input video. So, having detected the raindrops, we remove them and restore the images based on analysis that some areas of raindrops completely occlude the scene. So, and some other areas occlude only partially. So, for partially occluding areas, we restore them by retrieving as much as possible information of the scene, namely by solving a blending function of detected partially occluding areas using the temporal intensity derivative. So for completely occluding areas, we recover them by using the video completion technique. So experimental results using various real videos, so the effectiveness of our method. Yeah, let us discuss about the flow diagram of the process. So this is the overall flow diagram and this data set we collecting the videos of, uh, I mean, uh, that is a rain video and then the input video is gotten. So whatever may be it will be, it will be gotten in the video and then pre-processing so in this pre-processing step the input video it should be converted as a frame so in number of frames it should be converted and then filtering process so in the filtering process there are two methods in the apply one is a raindrop reduction and another one is a raindrop removal and then finally performance analysis so in the performance analysis process we calculating accuracy precision and recall of the process or uh, let us consider uh, detailed exploration of the all the frames so uh, in uh, frame conversion process we using that yeah, first of all the input video to select the path and file name to video given format upload to the movie player so that file to be loaded after the play the video it will be convert a frame row and column wise of the frames so at the same time for all the frames will be converted in the number of the panels so that is the pre-processing step so the frames all will be right at a particular folder we need to display our uh, values for the frames so the video files consist of frames so these frames when appears uh, as in a rate more than our perception of vision gives a sensation of an object moving before us by looking just at the screen so on which frames its a uh, priority should be high so this can one uh, frames are fundamental entity in video so raindrop reduction uh, are re, uh, real scenes with the ground truth so we create a data by dropping a water on a transparent panel as a ground truth and tasking the videos so in the filtering process our method environment assumes a uh, it's a uh, it sufficiently textures so hence it is uh, used for the so we invest, uh, investigate how significant the absence of textures influence the reduction and accuracy. So and then uh, rain removal. So the and rain, raindrop removal. So the raindrop removal, the synthesized raindrops are generated on the video and used as an input. Our method is compared with the proposed method by the Welsh. So in the a sufficient description for the removal algorithm and this is not compared here. So we show few results of removing raindrops is being handled by the as a mounted camera as like that. So second rules where we can where we can uh, using the see some improvement of the process. So finally we calculating the performance analysis. Uh, calculating the performance analysis for the accuracy, precision and recall of the process. So these are the overall flow diagram of the process. Yeah let us discuss about the running procedure for the process. So click the main file and then uh, run. It has a time to execute the file. So first of all we take an input video and then the processing will be shifted so the input video will get in the rain video so we will finally remove the raindrop for the particular frame of the process and then finally get the performance measure of the process yeah here we taken the one data set so i will take the data one of open so it will be played for the original video it's like a running time to display the video of the process the input video should be displayed. Yeah, it's 
insulation uh, insulation is a engine and the movie player it should be played for uh, it's take time to uh, reduce the process so the movie player it should be loaded so that is a loading the data source video should be played so this is the movie player so on this movie player uh, it's take a time to run the video so this is the so this is the original video so the original video should be played it has some raindrops are uh, presented in the video so I mean other than presented in the frame so this is a sample raindrop video Finally, it should be deducted. So the video it should be converted to the frame. So frame uh, I want to up to frame 50. So the frames are converted in the pre-processing step. Yeah, this is the uh, particularly there are 50 frames. We only selected the one frame. So this is the selected frame of the process. And then the next one is a this is also the second frame of the process. So the feature extraction process here we are using a SIFT. SIFT feature extraction process. The raindrop removal. So that's the raindrop. It should be deducted by using the red circle so this is the SIFT feature extraction process is, is uh, implemented in the process and let us discuss about the OF offline and then uh, level set region so these are the level set region for the particular formula of the process so and then the, uh, it's very easily to calculate the level set regions of the process so this is the visualization of rain removal stroke with what width will be presented in the so in a particular raindrop it should be highly intensity of the process <coughs> finally the raindrop will be removed so the, the so finally the raindrop will be removal for particular intensity of the process so and then get the performance measure so in the performance measure we calculate in the precision recall f measure and fall positive so these are the performance of the of the process so uh, overall running so these are the overall running procedure for the process thank you for watching this video thank you for listening this video